So I did a little pick-in today at the salvage yard, yeah, local uh, salvage, JB Salvage. Awesome place. You get the chance to visit there. It's a really cool place. They still let you go to the yard and pick whatever you want. And they had, uh, apparently the city of Bloomington had um, redone all of their uh, signage. They must have got a big grant or something because they had literally hundreds of street signs that were not being used and so I grabbed this stack here and aluminum is currently a dollar a pound so there are it's 41 pounds of signs there so it's 41 bucks but I figure uh, this one way will make them I'll kind of bang out some of these areas that are kind of dented because it's aluminum it'll bang out easily make a coffee table or something out of them and hang the rest of them uh, maybe on the shed or something, but uh, pretty cool. I like the bike one a lot. I'm sure they replaced uh, some of them because of the the imperfections starting to kind of show up. Plus, some of them had graffiti. Cherry picked the ones that I wanted, so those are going to become coffee tables and and other such projects. So those are going to be cool. We're going to take one of those signs that I picked up at the salvage yard and try and make a coffee table with it. Uh, my wonderful spouse went and picked up for me because I work away from town, so he picked up some steel. We're going to try and use uh, to build the rim. Basically, I'm just going to build a track that this piece is going to lay in. Something like that. So there's not too much of a lift there, just a little bit of a lip. I think that'll be okay. So this is half inch. And then we also have three quarter in case uh, the half inch isn't strong enough. It's a little bit flexible. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, I think once I've cut it to size and made it a box, it will be just. Fine, and we'll put a couple of them, of the pieces, kind of in the middle, probably two, as braces. Get that cleaned up, get our track built, and then probably use the hairpin legs I picked up at the auction, and we'll have ourselves a table. Frame is built, and I must say, or cut, I guess I should say, that cutting it with that guy... A little bit of a challenge. Uh, turns out that's a little hard to keep it accurate. Pretty good on the mitered corners though. As close as I can get without uh, having a bladed saw. I'm gonna call it good. We're gonna try and throw the sign in and see what fits in there. Well, I think we've got it. There's a little bit of a gap uh, where you can see a little bit underneath there. I think I can probably buzz that or put a piece in there with the rounded corner on the sign. Miss, this is the corner that's kind of boogered up and kind of damaged a little bit. Take a hammer and beat as much of that out of there as I can. But I'd say that frame is... Uh, pretty much ready to weld up and then I just need to make the the two cross pieces that I'm gonna put in there give it some strength after we get it welded up and then those hairpin legs that I grabbed it they were in a, a bucket of stuff at an auction <clears throat> excuse me probably cut those down this end piece here is just a little plastic cap so just cut those down. They're at an angle anyway, so when they sit on something to sit flat, the leg itself kind of has to kick out. I don't really like that look. So I'll probably just cut those about here. It's going to be a coffee table, so I only want it to be uh, knee knocker height. So we'll knock those down and weld those to the corner, and if I uh, hit it right, we should be able to line these two pieces up kind of like that on the frame. Uh, so it won't be very heavy, which is a good thing, uh, considering uh, the one I did just build 
is pretty beefy and uh, hopefully I'll be able to tack on a little show and tell of that at the end of this video. So I have these frame makers, frame jigs if you want to call them that, made by craftsmen. And again, probably picked them up at an auction or a garage sale or something. So I've kind of mocked everything up in those and I'm just going to go along and just buzz the corners and we'll make sure that the sign still fits in there before we weld everything up tight. All right, legs are cut. They are just tack welded on. They are not on there permanently. Welded up good yet. Corners turned out okay. Happy with that, I can live with that. Clean up all the garbage that's in there. I'm not gonna weld on the inside because it's so hard to grind it out to make it even. It looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. I did end up putting a couple braces on the underside here. It's one at 12 and then one 12 inches further in and I'll have to grind off the edges of those and kind of pretty those up a little bit. I had to notch those out. Just a piece of angle and just notched off the end so they would sit up in there. All right. Get those legs leveled up there uh, proper and everything ground down and cleaned up and we're good to go. Got the frame all painted up. Turned out pretty nice. Pretty shiny. I was just going to oil it uh, and let the raw steel just be there. I think those legs needed some refreshing, so. And then I cleaned this up quite a bit and put some oil on it for nothing else to just protect the surface. And touched up a few areas. This gouge here is too deep, I can't salvage it. But that cleaned up pretty nice. And then I think to attach it, I'm just going to make a piece of metal um, kind of come back past here. Grab the tab, grab, we'll put a bolt hole through it, make it stick past the sign, and just grab that little lip that's on the, on the frame. Can't see it very well. The little lip that's here. We'll just grab that. And I think that'll be enough. I'm not gonna try not to put any screws uh, in the sign itself. It fits pretty snug in there. I kind of have to tap it with a rubber mallet, which is good. So I think that is a finished product. As soon as I get uh, back home from work, we're gonna let that sit. Cook in the sun all day, and I think it'll be ready to go when I get back. Gotta love it when a plan comes together. Those brackets that were on the legs that I cut off, they're gonna be perfect. So we're just gonna mark where we need to cut that. Go a little bit past our mark. So it'll come in and pick up the slip right here. And we are golden. And that is a wrap. I think that looks pretty good. We're going to call it good anyway. Those brackets in there. Turned out pretty nice. I painted the edges of them so they wouldn't rust. Looks like I might need to hit that one again though. call that a success. I wanted to mention that the oil is still just a little bit tacky. Not bad. We're going to let it cook out in the sun for one more day. It's supposed to be 90 degrees tomorrow, so that should take care of it. And if the sign had been any wider, that half inch uh, 
angle would not have worked. We would have had to use something bigger. But for this sign, the width is only uh, 12 inches. So it's 12 by 36. And for this one, it worked just fine. For the promise of tacking on, one of the things I had built onto the end of this video is this. I purchased a piece, a couple of pieces of train rail. And then a piece of this, just rebar off of the, I assume, the I-69 project, since that's the color of the painted stuff they are using out there. So I took those two pieces, and this old piece of timber I picked up off the side of the highway. That board was 10 feet long, it's 12, a little over 12 feet wide and two inches thick, and it weighed a little over 100 pounds. That is solid wood. Ripped that down and made a little sofa table with it. So really only three things in it. Train rail, the rebar, and that board. And I'll take you and show you what I came up with with that. Let's do a quick little uh, shot of what this actually looks like. Lighting's a little dark in here, but steel plate underneath, board on top. I think that turned out pretty cool. And the best part is, up next to that limestone, it is dead level. I like it.